Hello friends, welcome to programmerblog.net. In this video, you will learn how to generate XML using PHP and MySQL. So in this tutorial, let us suppose we have a small example bookstore application where data is stored in a MySQL database and we will create a PHP script to generate the XML file. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It was designed to store and transport data and we can add custom tags and attributes to an XML file. So let us discuss the database table used in this tutorial. So here we have a books table inside bookstore database and this table has ID, title, author underscore name, price, ISBN and category of the book. There is some sample data already inserted into the table. In the first line of the document, XML version and encoding type is defined. Next is the books root element for the document. Inside the books root element, there are multiple book child elements and title, author, price, ISBN and category of the book are added as child element of each book item. After this brief introduction, first we'll create a database table and insert sample data into it. And secondly, we'll create a PHP script to generate XML file. Let us create a database table and insert sample data into it. Open the browser and type localhost slash php my admin and press enter. Enter the username as root and once logged in the databases that are already created by MySQL server. I will click new over here and type the database name as db bookstore and click create db bookstore database is created now i'll click on db bookstore database and click on sql over here i will paste some sql commands to create a database table and insert sample data into it we are creating a table named books and inside the books table we have id title author underscore name price isbn and the category of the book columns and after creating the table we have insert statements that says that insert into books we are providing id title author name price isbn and the category of the book so i will click on this go button the table for the books is created and sample data is inserted into the table so i will click on the books table and over here that the sample data is entered into the table so let us move to the step two and create a script to generate xml from this database table. Please open your favorite code editor. I will be using Visual Studio Code. Go to File menu and click Open Folder. Inside www folder of FAMP, create a new folder and name it generate-xml-php. Select this folder and open it in the code editor. In the project folder, create a new file and name it as index.php. So as discussed earlier, we'll connect to the database first and then fetch data and generate an XML file. To make a connection with database, we'll use PHP's MySQL I method. MySQL I method accepts four parameters. First parameter is the host name, that is localhost. The second parameter is the database username, that is root. Third parameter is database password, that is empty in our case. And the fourth parameter is the database name. And if the connection is successful, will return a connection object and if the connection is not successful then it will return an error and in this if condition will display the error so let us check if our database connection is successful or not for this purpose we'll add an else condition and inside this else condition i'll type echo connected to the database save the code and open browser and type localhost dash generate dash xml dash php and hit enter and you can see the message connected to the database so it means that our connection to the database is successful after connecting to the database let's continue to the next step or remove this else part and we'll add an array called books next i'll add a query dollar sql is equal to select id title author underscore name price ispn and category from books to save some time i will paste the code to fetch data from database and generate xml but i will explain it briefly 
inside this if statement we are using mysql i connection objects query method this query method accepts a query and returns a result set if this condition evaluates to true that is the result is returned from the database then the code inside this if block will execute in the next line we are using fetch underscore all method fetch underscore all method fetches all the result rows and return the result set as an associative array or a numeric array or both we have specified mysql i underscore associative that means that we want our result rows as an associative array the next if condition checks that if there is some data from the database create xml file function is called and the books array is passed to this function this function will return the generated xml file path in the next line there is a success message that xml file generated successfully and there is a link to open the generated xml file in case there is no data returned from the database will show the user that no record is found from the database and in the next line free method is used to free the result set and in last line close method is used to close the database connection and free the memory i'll paste the code for generating xml file and we will discuss it later the create xml file method accepts books data as an array the name of the generated xml file would be books.xml and it will be saved inside the files folder so this files folder i will just create it over here PHP provides us with DOM document library that is used to create or pass XML documents. Using DOM documents create element, we create different elements of an XML document and after defining the XML version and the encoding type, we define the root element of the XML document. Each XML document must have a root element. In this case, the books will be used as the root element and inside the books root element there will be multiple child elements we'll name them as book element and each book element further will have the childs those will be title author price isbn and the category the book element is created using dom's create element method each book element has an attribute that is id and uh, using book elements set attribute method we will set the id attribute for this next the child book element will be created using dom's create element method and the book element as you know has an attribute called id so using set attribute method of the book element we will assign the book id to this id attribute after creating the book element the other child elements are added using create element and append child methods next the title element is appended to the book element using append child method author element is created using dom's create element method and after assigning the value it is appended to the book element using append child method and the further child elements like price isbn and category are created using the same create element method and appended to the book element and on the last line book element is appended to the root element and after the loop finishes the root element with other child elements is appended to the dom document inside this if condition we use the dom document save method to save our generated file on the path we defined earlier and if the xml file is generated successfully a success message is displayed to the user with the link to the file let us run this script in the browser inside the browser type localhost slash generate dash xml dash php and hit enter so the xml file is generated successfully let us open the xml file so this is the generated xml document and here we have the books root element and inside the books root element there are many book child elements and each book element contains its title author price isbn and the category so this xml document can be shared with other applications and those application can pass the xml and use this data accordingly so the purpose of this tutorial was to give you an idea about php's dom document library and how to use it with mysql to generate xml files 
We hope you liked this video. If you like to read a detailed tutorial at this topic, visit our blog. The link to the article is given in the description of the video. To download source code of this tutorial, visit our GitHub repository. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching this video. Goodbye.